So, Ottoman against English. I would say this is one of the hardest matchups for Ottomans. This is the only matchup where I don't like opening military school as Ottoman. I just don't think Spearman is a valuable unit against English. It seems that the villagers, uh, due to the range attack, defend any kind of of Spearman pressure, and then later on the English player is playing Lombos, right? So it's not that they don't really achieve much in this matchup. So let's not let's not go for that. Let's open as if. No, like any other ship, 7 on, go on foot, 3 on gold, and 8 job. Hey. Good luck, have fun. Mm. Yeah, Lipanis sometimes has these layouts where trade is. Looks like it's really strong, like, but then again, I'm not sure if this is the matchup where you want to trade Ottomans against English. It seems the English has the tools to to shut it down, right? Uh, let's balance this a bit better, I don't want... Yeah. It doesn't matter this game, but sometimes if you're a bit late with your ship, it's uh, worth to balance your villagers so that all three end at the same time. Just so you can... Uh, have as many villages as possible gathering at the same time. Make sure you don't have any other time, but it didn't matter this time, so it's fine. So I'm going to age up rather quickly uh, for uh, for the Ottoman standard, right? And then I will try to get two military schools immediately and probably a stable as well. I'm not sure how much gold do I get here. I think I get at least 100 more for the wood upgrade. I would like to find at least a couple more ship, minimum. I think they must, they must be somewhere. Let's scout now his timing, his feudal age timing. That is, I want to know whether he wants to play aggressive really quickly or if he's going for a more passive approach here. Just so I can, so I know how greedy can I be about getting my my military schools. Like, can I get both of them immediately? Okay, with this timing for sure. This looks like a wheelbarrow opening to me, right? Uh, this is like usually you would expect the English player to age up around the four-minute mark. So this looks like wheelbarrow for sure. Uh, this mistake here, I allowed this to. As soon as this finishes, I'm gathering wood from the landmark. Also, I should have I built the landmark camp, I think. Just because I had the resources to get the upgrade, right? And I need a, a house. So I will need around 200 wood here. Um. I'm going for my setup in the back because this could be wheelbarrow, but then later he can still play really aggressive. Just a, a more delayed aggression, right? So let's not build, uh, let's say, in the front and then uh, regret our decision. Uh, I think there's a chance there's still more, sh more ship in the map. Let's try to find out. Thank you. 
Um, I guess I should. Uh, I could have gathered more, more gold if, if this was his, his style that we were going for, right? But I guess I, I didn't know in time. Let's check, let's check his base again because at the end of the day he stopped. Um, yeah, it's a fast second TC, so I'm already. Like I'm going for a second TC as well. There's. I don't think there's any point in trying to to kill the English player, right? They are too strong in their base. Uh. Um, what I'm wondering is whether I should go into Archer ranges or not. Or if I can just um, be fine with just uh, free units and get every single upgrade. Just not too sure whether that's greedy or not. I think I should be fine here if I'm very careful. Uh, I scout a lot and, and quickly adapt. Okay, so he's building the second TC here by the looks of it, right? So he's going to be playing a very defensive game here. That's what that tells me. So I guess I don't really need uh, to make units. I will just try to put some pressure with the Sipaya. Yeah. That will be pretty much it. If he had played a bit more aggressive, then I would have gone into archery ranges. Like, like the second I see a rack, I go into archery range myself. Um, now for the Vizier points, yeah, I'm not too sure here. I don't need to use it immediately though, I can think a bit or wait a bit to see what, how the game goes. Like if I'm going fast castle, I really want to get the, the Imam one, so I can I can grab the relics in the map immediately. I think that would be good for me. Uh, the question here is do I get Will Barrow or does it delay my age up too much? I'm gonna skip it. But let's keep scouting. I mean, the, the second I see the TC here, it's clear to me that he's not going to be aggressive, right? I mean, if the game goes uh, to the very late game, it's good for the English, but I still think that the, I am. He shouldn't play this passive, I think this allows the Ottoman to get some some strong timings going. He could wall me in, in theory here, I think. I guess I could, I can activate this. They don't get extra damage by... Oh, so he did get the wall, but maybe... Uh, I think I could have killed this one if I was a bit more precise here, but I still got one villager some idle time. It's fine. Also some idle time, right? Every time he shoots. And he's the deal dealt some damage to but I'm going for the Imams, I believe, here. I've scouted four relics. The fifth one I would assume is somewhere around here. Maybe I should just uh, spend some time uh, finding it. Because there's no way I deal any damage into this base. Oh, that's like a. That sounds like a. 30C or. A, a, I guess so, right? Or maybe a fast skip after aging up, but. I don't know, it's a really strange timing for a. For a TC, I would say. Maybe he thinks I went into 30Cs myself, I don't know. Like I would expect, like if it's a 30C, I would expect him to just get um, the King's Palace instead, right, with Castle each time. So let's try to check the gold a bit. Okay, I found the missing relic. Uh, 
2.9. So roughly the same than me. So he's probably aging up, right? Um, so maybe that's for a keep. I don't know. I'm missing here a bit. Actually, that's, that's the, way. the way back. Because it feels like he doesn't have a single unit, right? so maybe I can just play a bit, uh, be a bit greedy here. I guess it's not really greedy, right? If you know the opponent has stopped making units. Um, so it was a 30C, okay. And then I guess White Tower to age up. I really wish I. I mean. I had a bit more wood. I was about to say a bit more wood so I can make knights, but then again, I'm not too sure that I can get any kind of uh, pressure going here. I mean, maybe I could because he's not fully walled in. He's on three pieces. I mean, no, nah, I think if I went straight into knights, I could have got something more for sure here. I think I'm switching to crossbows here with the. With this. And I. I never build the. the mech. But. I've managed to secure all, all the relics, which is of course uh, good. I, I would assume it's a white tower age up. I don't think he went for uh, 46. He's going into crossbow, so may as well not. Uh, May as well not produce uh, knights then. He's uh, countering them already. Uh, I wonder if I put this on traps at all. A very, very defensive approach by, by my opponent here. As in this. I guess in a way it makes sense as if in the game goes. Uh, like, if it's a 40 minute game, the English player should win, right? But then again, surrendering the relics like this feels like a bit too much. But I, I gotta keep in mind that I want to see behind my opponent here. I got a screen. So I got another beast here. Uh, is there any point in getting the Janissaries? Can I kill him if I do that? I don't think so. Let's crossbow. Spear. So maybe I should have gone into archers instead of crossbows myself. I should start thinking about dealing some damage here. Because I would assume he's gonna have many times at some point in the mix. I'm not too sure if I can fight that army. I mean, he's getting tons of crossbows, which don't do much against my units. I feel like. 
My production is way too in the back, I think it would take me ages to reinforce any kind of army here. I don't think I can fight. I really don't think I can fight this army. I think I made a mistake. I overextended here a bit. Although maybe... He doesn't have um, blacksmith upgrades here now, I notice. Uh, yeah, I go into knights here. I think I should have gone on up to 3 TCs at some point here. I don't know. My economy balance is really poor here also. Maybe I should have tried to go for sacred victory. I just have too many resources right in the bank. It's just a but economy balance, I think. Um, what do we go for here? I think this is the only thing that I can try now. I think unless I get a huge economic leap now through trade and go to the very late game, I, I, I don't see myself winning this game now.
Onu senin için. Pekala tamam. Hareket var. Emir. Dünyamı hakaret. Hareket et. Yıkıl sen. Devam et. Han günahı. I'm just not too sure how late I am. Like I don't know if he's on 200 or what's the what's the situation here. It's hard, it's hard to know in these spots. I, I Let's get a defensive keep, I would guess. Okay, that's a lot. It only gets worse uh, from this point on, so it's time to get the fight now. The fight wasn't terrible, but I'm not too sure if it's if I'm still in a point where I can win this game. Oh, this should be in ramps. Oh, although maybe I can snipe the sprinkles now. And maybe this should go back to Sipa, you know. Not even wall. Okay, that's that's really not good. And I don't think I can wall it, right? No. I mean, I think I can, but I, I will just have to delete some some of my markets, right? But that's the way it is, I think. I really need a stone wall here, or I will be in trouble really soon. Ah, I guess I can get the last military school. Okay, so he secured that goal. It's okay. Uh, 143 bills. Well, with traders. Looks like it's still a bit too much. 
But if you send units back to defend this, maybe. Like. I don't need that. I mean, as, as an Ottoman player, I'm happy that I'm getting to, to trade units. Even if they're. Ah, oh, this should be already on the. But I'm not too sure if. It's a winnable situation as Ottoman. I mean, I have the five relics, which is huge. But he has the English economy, right? So. I mean, let's not give so many things away. I'm almost on 150 supply, that's too much. But what do I delete here? I have tons of gold, so maybe some traders. Uh, let's get rid of these five, maybe. He doesn't have traps anymore, so I would guess I'm. He can't really go for for the king. Here. I would lose. I stun all that. That's a bit harder to deal with, of course. And again, as Ottoman, I'm fine with constantly trading units. It doesn't even have to be the best trade. It's just that my military schools get max value when I'm constantly... when I'm not idling them, of course. I think I've killed uh, quite a few... 
quite a few Vita just there. It's not sure if it's enough for worse. I want to trade, but I don't want to trade to, to poor unfortunately. I need to back a bit, let's... And wait for uh, a rematch, let's, let's do that. I'm really missing wood here. Mm. I should just go into night. Uh, like, units that don't cost... Uh, oh, Uh, do I still not have a great bomber? I was about to say. I thought it, it has been had been a while since I tried to get one. Maybe I should try to win the siege fight here. Or maybe I can I'm fine like this. Just have so much gold if I trade. But I really don't want to tank those cannon. Let's let's be a bit patient here. Let's let the bombard do its job. Repair it a bit, just in case it tries to trap it down. And let's keep trading. I want my military schools to be constantly working, right? Oh, they are on Incipi. I thought they were on Knights. breaking now. Like my 200 supply, uh, army is extremely strong, it's not um, Janissary, right? And he's remaxing on Spearman Lombo, which is not... In these numbers, I don't think they can... It's an army that can compete. Yeah, I think the, the key in this game was the eventually understanding that trade was my only way to, to come back in this situation in, in terms of economy. And securing the five relics, of course, right? Because he has uh, some uh, gold income from the farms, but but I don't think he. I think he wasn't mining for a long while, right? So his army becomes really weak. Uh, eventually, the the constant 200 supply fight is is a one that one that I will win. Plus, I think I killed uh, quite some villagers with the raids, right? Yeah. Did you?